Now it's time to make Morgan's Obi. I'm going to be using a different method than the pattern that I used for the yukata, but I'm still going to be using the pattern pieces that came with it. So the base obi, I cut four of them in pink cotton, and then I pinned two of the pieces together, and then we're going to zigzag around the edge, and that's going to attach the two pieces to each other. Next, cut the red strip out of your deep red fabric, and then heat and bond it and zigzag along the edges, just like you did for the bats. Then put the right sides together, and then you're going to sew up and down along each side, leaving the ends open. Now you're going to tighten your obi right side out and then top stitch along the sides. Next you're going to take some of this plastic webbing, I believe it's used for cross stitch, cut it to the length that you want and then you're going to slide it into your obi and that's going to keep it stiff and also the holes in it are going to make it so that it breathes some and make it easier to sew the decorations on top onto the obi. Next you are going to fold your edges down, sew them down. I also added another length of stitching just to help keep the stiffeners in place. And then you're going to sew on some velcro. Now it's time to add the decorations. I'm going to start by sewing on the gold cord. I'm hand sewing it on and the fact that we used the kind of plastic webbing on the inside that has the holes in it makes it a lot easier to sew through and add the designs on. So I have a piece that's folded in half that goes along from the edge to here and the same thing on the other side and then I have the four loops and then I have one piece that's folded in half and I made the tassels just by putting the beads on, knotting the cord, and then unraveling the cord to get these tassels. Next, hand sew the rows onto the obi, and with that, the base obi is done. For the sash at the top of the obi, we're going to do the same thing that we did for the sash to tie the yukata. Just going to cut a rectangle and then zigzag around the edges. Next you're going to fold it in half hot dog wise and then you're going to sew up and around until you get to the middle and then you're going to leave a section open and then you're going to keep going and down. Next turn the sash right side out and then you're going to sew closed the little hole in the center. I am not pressing it or doing any top stitching because I want it to have a very fluffy appearance like the reference picture. Now we're going to make the fake obi bow. It's a very simplified costume version, but it's very quick and easy. So first we're going to start with a rectangle of the pink fabric. And I did the same thing that I did for the base of the obi where it's two pieces zigzag together to hold it in shape and I made two of these. Then we're going to take the other one and put it on top. So, and we're going to sew it like the obi, except we're going to start from the bottom, sew all the way around and across this time, and then down. Now turn your obi bow right side out and top stitch along the edge. Now you're going to fold the obi bow around so that the raw edge is on the inside and sew it down. And with that, the obi is done.